Welcome to the AFCI Beyond Cinema Studios here at Sundance. We are here with the director of Jamie Marks is Dead, Madison, one of the stars. And so I wanted to ask you, you read a book that struck a chord. Yep. And what was it about these these teenagers that hit you so hard? Um, you know, it was it was such a sort of truthful portrayal of what it's like to be a teenager and how difficult it is to connect. You know, whether you're trying to connect with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a parent or a sibling, like there was something that was so honest about it, the way that it was told. Um, and, you know, I mean, people have asked me, like, do, you know, do, do you see yourself in any of these characters? And I mean, not really, but just the, you know, I think that, that struggling with making those connections is something that anyone can relate to. And Madison, is that kind of why you wanted to be a part of it as well? Did you see a bit of yourself in, in Francis? Oh, definitely. Well, the, scri the script alone is just very, very striking. I mean, I read it a year before, and it was kind of just floating around, and then um, I was able to audition for Gracie, actually Morgan Saylor's role. And uh, then he came back like a month later and was like, can you go on tape for Francis? And in my mind, it was like, yes, yes. And, and uh, I put it on tape, and I got it, and... and uh, Morgan does a great job with Gracie. I, I'm so happy it worked out the way it did. And you got to be a little crazier with Francis. So. Being crazy is always, just, just always bit. really just fun. Yeah. yeah. And talk about filming a little bit with a cast this size, mostly of, of teens who, who maybe haven't done something of this caliber or this length yeah. or, or things like that. Yeah, I mean, well, we were, I mean, we were shooting in pretty uh, harsh conditions, I guess you could say. We I were, could agree with that. <laughs> we, were, we were in the middle of nowhere. We were, you know, we were shooting a lot of nights. It was freezing cold. Um, but, you know, everyone was so happy to be there. I mean, and, and that was one of the, like, not only just the actors, like, you know, the, the department heads and the crew, like, everyone was so excited about this story that people were, were sort of enthusiastic and, and not complaining as much as they probably should have been. And you didn't shoot where the film is set. What was there yeah, the reason the, you the, wanted Well, the book, to... was, the book takes place in Youngstown, Ohio, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it, but it could be any small city in America that has sort of seen better days, you know, and there's plenty of that in upstate New York, for and sure. What made you, so is that kind of what made you decide on upstate New York, or was um, it? Well, you know what, I, I, you know, the movie took a long time to make, and so one of the ways that I sort of fed my creativity as I was working on the script was I would just go and drive around and location scout alone for like days at a time, like roaming around you know, deserted towns. And it was um, completely worth it. There are some really cool sets. Yeah, so and, 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 I knew, and I knew that shooting in New York would be, would make a lot more sense than, you know, being two hours outside the city was, was definitely, you know, made, made things a little bit easier. And after all your hard work, after all that long time, what is it like to finally be here? Feels good. Yeah, I mean, you know, because I mean, you, shooting it and, and making the film, in the back of your head, you're like always like, okay, we're going to be finishing in the fall. Like, that's about when we'll be putting our cut together. Like, that's the, about the right time. You know, so it's, it was in the back of my head. And so it's kind of, you know, it was the best case scenario for sure. And you're premiering it tonight. Right. Yes. And, and are, you, are you hopeful, obviously, after this comes distribution? Is that? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I'm just excited for people to see the film. You know, it's been so, I've been so deep in it and so, you know, sort of up to my eyeballs for, you know, so many months that I'm just excited to watch it with like a real live audience that's seeing it for the first time. And, and um, we talked a little bit a few moments ago about how things kind of changed to the final version than what they were expecting it yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. And was that just part of your selection as you were watching everything that you had and you just kind of molded it? Yeah, like I, I didn't want a three hour movie. You know, I didn't want, a, I didn't want a movie that, like, I, like there are thriller elements to it and there's, so there's sort of a pace that I wanted to keep that sort of kept the story moving. And so a lot of what we did in the edit room is, is just get rid of anything that didn't move the story forward. You know, even if it was, it was, you know, a beautiful scene or, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of stuff that we shot that would just sort of, um, you know, it didn't have to be there in, in, the, in the final film. And so it was, took a lot of hemming and hawing to get rid of it, but I think the film is stronger because of it. Well, and you left not, I mean, there isn't something on the cutting room floor that you're like, I wish I had to put this back in. Or... No, no, no. Well, that's where you want to yeah, be. Yeah, that's exactly, where, especially exactly. And, you know, we're, we're like a nice reasonable running time where, you know, it's, uh, there's never a boring moment, hopefully, so. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank Thanks you so much. much for hanging out with us for a little bit. Thank you. Have fun tonight. Thanks for having us. That's awesome. Thanks. Okay.